Tim Barry from Holistic here. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about live chat as a function on a client's website and whether it's worth implementing it. And if you do, to what extent does it help and how can you use live chat in a smarter way to make it work even better? So first thing to say is if you just generally do a little bit of research out there, you'll search on something like this, you'll find lots of information that will give you a sense of the fact that live chat does increase sales and it will give you some suggestions on well how to use live chat to get a better conversion rate and in our experience it makes a massive difference and if anything from our experience this is underrated here's a good example of the kind of average conversion rate somebody can get in our experience you can significantly increase over this conversion rate when you use live chat in the right way so that's really what I want to focus on is how do you get this kind of result or an even better result? What's the right way to do that? And I think the best way I can do that is to show some examples. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this site and I'm going to refresh the page. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at the live chat function as it pops up. And you can see here how um, we've got a picture of an individual a name of a person and a specific message. Now this one's not very good, it's pretty it's pretty generic. And what you need to understand with live chat is that it is akin to when somebody walks into a retail store of some kind and a sales assistant comes up to them and says, need any help? Can I help you? And while having salespeople in the store will definitely increase sales, then having no salespeople there and having them greet people and initiate a conversation does work that kind of message is probably the least effective way of engaging with clients. But let's, let's start with the basics. So notice on this one how it's open, it pops up, it's got a person, a name, a specific message, and a place to type your question. Now, if I compare this to live chat that's implemented on another site, you'll see, well, it's offline. That's the first thing, and it's down here. And if you've got live chat and you don't man it all the time, you're in a race, but you're not really even starting the race. So that's problem number one. And when we see people implement live chat, we see this a lot where they just won't consistently make sure that it is available all the time. Another example here is this is the opposite case to that where it's available, but it's just a little message saying online. Let's chat is online. So this is not quite akin to a salesperson going up to somebody. It's a salesperson standing at the back of the store waiting for some client to come up to them and initiate the conversation. And certainly that's better than not having live chat and it's better than not having salespeople. But of course, you can imagine if you've got a good salesperson that is actually approaching the customers, your conversion rate is going to be much higher. And it's closed. I mean, it's kind of cryptic. And you compare that to the previous one where it was open. There's a picture of an individual. Pictures of an individual we know increase conversion rates because people get a sense of somebody specific being there as against this more sort of generic message. All in all, this one, let's just refresh the page so that comes back up. This one is better than what we've seen before, but there's an even better way and more efficient way of doing this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this page. I'm, I'm going to go to it in a new browser so we can see what happens the first time I visit this page. So I'm just going to put it into a browser and we're just going to go there and see what happens. Now there's a delay, so it gives somebody a chance to absorb it. Now what you've got is a very specific message prompting somebody associated with, if you're looking at this, some kind of message that's specific to what they're looking at. And that's it. It's, again, picture of an individual, different person in this case, different message. doesn't matter whether this person is real or not. They're not going to know the difference, but it gives the perception that there is somebody specific. So this is much more of a, akin to a salesperson coming up to somebody that's come in the store. They've not pounced on them immediately. They walk in the door. There's a delay. And then when they start looking at something specific, they're then coming up with a message that is specific to something that they're looking at. It's up, it's opened, and you can you have a chance to click on it here. You can get rid of it very very easily just by clicking on the X, that's no problem. This is what makes all the difference. If you're gonna have live chat, for goodness sake, make sure that it's running, don't be offline. 
if you're not in a position to have live chat on your site most of the time, don't implement it. If you do have live chat, another critical issue is make sure that you're able to respond very, very quickly. I've used live chat and I've seen something like this. I've responded. I've asked a question and nobody came back to me. My patience level was about 20 seconds. When I didn't get a response for 20 seconds, I actually felt negatively towards the website that had the live chat. From my point of view as a consumer, why have the live chat and give me a message? Oh, great. I've got a question. I'm desperately trying to answer a question. Does this product do X? Does this service provide Y? Here's my chance to get a simple answer to that question. I click on it, type in my question, and there's no response. That is annoying. So if you have live chat and you don't man it, you're wasting your time. If you have live chat and you don't respond and you're not in a position to respond instantly, you actually have an opportunity to decrease your conversion rate and create a negative experience for the client. Think of live chat as salespeople. This is a sales process. Don't outsource it to a marketing company. It's a sales process. It's all about engaging with the client. It's very akin to a, a retail store of some kind and having salespeople on the sales floor. And it's not just, have you got salespeople somewhere on the store? Are they standing around not doing much? How good are they? Are they actually effective at approaching customers and saying something relevant to what they're doing and engaging that client in a conversation? Those are the things to think about when you're considering implementing live chat.